not all houses are created equal. There are many factors that can influence the perceived value of a property. Realtors often can be heard shouting, location, location, or you will read in advertisements, worst house, best street. The reason one particular location or street or locale appeals over others to some real estate agents in any given town or city can sometimes be not just because it has wonderful views over the bay or is close to any school or train station, rather it can be as simple as the fact that historically over any given period of time that particular area or locale has consistently been a high volume buy and sell area. The downside to buying in such locales is that you are more than likely entering into an overinflated exclusive price market zone sometimes one, two, five, ten or twenty blocks back all because a few wealthy entrepreneurs have spent exorbitant amounts building castles in the sky or because a new shopping centre is planned next year. Buying into such areas can be risky so be careful when assessing real estate in these locations as the top end of the market tends to lose more value than the bottom end even though the percentage rate might read the same when general values decline due to larger sometimes unrelated economic conditions a recession for example if looking at purchasing in an exclusive zone or location do some research on the market cycles for this area and try and get in on a downturn realizing this might mean holding off until that market becomes more favorable Sometimes, for instance, this can mean waiting for autumn or winter, as prices sometimes ease due to slower demand or interest. During these seasons due to the poorer weather, for instance. Understand that some folks throw millions into developing sites in these areas and walking away taking substantial losses, sometimes because money is no object to them as they have other income that easily soaks up their losses or because they have overestimated the market and are forced to fall on their sword. So be wary when buying into an exclusive area or location. Do some research and get in at a time that is more favorable. Sometimes this can be during the winter season for example, but ideally it would be when prices are unusually lower than usual for the area. Sneaky tip. Always check the values of an area you know nothing about before considering buying example some developments whilst looking good on paper and promising as a future investment may in fact be overvalued when compared to existing local property values for that area beware of property seminar type fly and buy deals where you are taken to or offered property that is in a location where you don't know what the actual values are the danger here is that you could end up paying too much based on rental incomes that are not realistic for the locale or where an introductory period is offering an initial term of guaranteed rental income and once that period expires you might find that the introductory rental income was unrealistic for the locale and that the property most likely will require more of a longer term top up than you thought and that the extra financial input required will not be quickly recoverable due to an overinflated buy-in price. Do your homework when buying into any developments especially looks good on paper planned projects as some folk have been burned by other factors such as not enough investor interest or bankrupt development projects due to cost overruns and these people have lost everything. Sometimes it is better to get in when the actual development is completed as opposed to buying into an idea. Reduce your risk and learn more about the locale and the area of land involved. Sometimes introductory set terms of a guaranteed rental are used to attract buyers into developments when in fact if the rental returns were so great the developer wouldn't need any further investment. Property values. In New Zealand most properties have a value for rating purposes. Most commonly this is known as the QV or RV or CV. The QV being the quotable value the RV being the rateable value and note this is not to be confused with a registered valuation or the CV the council value and essentially these are all different tags given to the same single value first and most importantly it should be noted that the QV 
the quotable value, the RV, the rateable value, or the CV, the council value, is an estimated value that is used to determine how much in local taxes, fees and extras that particular property should contribute towards the local council as a fair share of taxes, fees, etc. annually. The QV, RV or CV, loosely different terms representing the same single value, that value being what the local council or government accepts as your property value when applying local taxes and fees etc. Generally these values are revised every three years although in some circumstances this can vary. Also be advised you can request a review if you are at odds with or wish to dispute the value they have arrived at but be aware this may incur additional fees and of course if valued higher this may result in a larger annual council invoice. Note the RV that being the rates value should not be confused with the valuation applied by a registered valuer. A registered value from a registered valuer is, would be completely different than a value applied by, as a rates value. The QV, RV or CV does not necessarily truly reflect the marketable value of your property as this value was never intended to be used as a trading market value. Rather its value is specifically set for the collection of local, or regional or government taxes, fees, costs, etc. Be aware RV can refer to two different separate values when used in real estate advertisements and this can cause confusion. RV can mean rating value. That is the same as the CV or council value or capital value which is the same as the quotable value, all of which appear on the council's rating notice for that particular property as the LV or land value, plus the value of improvements added together equaling the capital value. RV, however, can also mean the registered value. This is the value a professional registered property valuer has deemed to be the current market value of the property. It is a trained expert and qualified opinion. The capital value is the total value of the property and includes the land value. If you are looking to buy or sell a property, ask to see the council rates notice and you will see the capital value. This is the most the council figures the property is worth when deriving its fair share of costs from the owner. It is also known as the CV, QV or RV but it should never be confused or taken as the registered value. That is a market value determined by a qualified expert at the time of valuing. Also one must consider the fact that even a registered valuer's valuation is only based on their expertise for at the end of the day in a capitalist money driven economy a thing will only fetch as much as the market determines on that day and at that specific moment in time. So if you have demand, you might get the value. Likewise, if there is no demand, you may not get that value. Registered values or RVs are generally determined on recent sales values and volumes in your area based on similar sized properties with similar features but are more in depth as the registered valuer actually walks through the property and notes the overall structural condition and materials used in construction plus other features. A registered value is often sought by financial institutions as part of a pre-purchase arrangement, mortgage application or loan. When potential buyers are using finance to purchase a prospective property as some financial institutions require an up-to-date and more accurate value than what a rates valuation indicates or QV or CV, all the same meaning. So in many ways this validates that a registered value is viewed by most financial institutions to be a more accurate and appropriate value than a rates valuation 
or QV or CV. As the registered valuer's estimate is viewed as more up-to-date and descriptive than a general three-yearly QV, RV or CV value that appears on a rates notice. Sneaky tips. It is possible to view previous council valuations, also known as QVs or RVs, by visiting your local council's website and entering the rates section. Most councils keep a history of property valuations over the years, sometimes decades, sometimes since the house was built. This information can be useful, but should never be counted on as predictive of future value jumps. It does, however, give you an actual working history of how values have risen or declined during the life of the property. Note, some councils may not offer this option when visiting their website. This information can usually be obtained by visiting any council website and entering the street address or property or lot number. Most only require a street address. I have viewed some councils historical rate values where some properties have made 25 to 50,000 value jumps in clearly repeated cycles, sometimes gaining 100,000 in value in under 10 years. This does not mean those same properties will jump in sync with their present cycles again, but the information can be useful in assessing risk, development growth and other possible financial related objectives when combined with census data. Never assume. Sneaky tip. Another useful way of determining a property's value is to find websites and find a property similar to the one you are interested in or that is similar to your own. Then look at the advert. As some have recent sales information values posted on them and these values are usually the most recent for similar properties in the area. This information will give you a rough idea of the values folk are getting for their properties at sale. This information can also, when collated, tell you what areas are warmer or cooler than others sale-wise. Also, if you compare the sale price with the rates value, it will enable you to roughly estimate how much up or down that particular property sold for against its rateable value. So much over that you will be able to determine a percentage shift over any number of properties in that area, whether similar or otherwise type properties.